हेलो क्लास कंटिन्यूइंग आर सीरीज ओके बिफोर दैट आई हैड लेट अस ब्रश अप व्हाट वी हैड सीन वी हैड सीन सम क्वेश्चंस एंड देयर इज अ मिस्टेक एक्चुअली इन द प्रीवियस दिस थिंग आई हैड अ डाउट ऑन दिस सो हियर द स्टेरिक क्राउडिंग डजंट हैपन एक्चुअली स्टेरिंग क्राउडिंग इवन दिस पोजीशन इज सिमेट्रिक Uh, I don't call it symmetric, but uh, this position, even that I get this position, is possible. There is no crowding as such. Okay, uh, you might face some hindrance due to the H group. If the H group is present on this particular side, you might find hindrance on on this side, on onto the red position. I have marked red over here. Okay. Mark red, red, red. Let us mark it blue. Now uh, to differentiate, if uh, if this H is present at this position, uh, let's say uh, with respect to nitrogen at this position, so in that case you might feel uh, the electrophile might face some hindrance towards this direction, and uh, if it is not present, uh, if it is present over this side, so it might face some hindrance, but uh, um, there might be lesser percentage of a product. uh towards the position where this hatch is present that's that's what i wanted to give an idea about so that's why i had considered a bit of steric hindrance but uh, uh possibility of the product is there so i just wanted to inform you guys and that's all yeah so and then we saw about anthracene and all the special cases and uh, let me give you an a reaction Um, this is an extension to friedel crafts alkylation okay this reaction friedel craft alkylation just a small note which you are supposed to know let's say we have toluene if we have toluene and let's carry out friedel craft alkylation we can think of three products am i right or wrong the product one is this ch3 and uh, let me mark this in white okay before that one second there are three possible products so now due to the procedure we had learned or the rules that we had learned or uh, till our knowledge we saw that uh, this is uh, a plus h group so due to which uh, it would increase the electron density at the ortho and para positions and so these two should be our uh, major products this or this but what happens is here Mm, and okay these were the kinetic factors judging the reaction but due to the thermodynamics of reaction due to the thermodynamics dynamics we get this as our major product metazide this is our major product due to the thermodynamics now this product is known as thermodynamically controlled product controlled product okay so this was a small note and uh, i would tell you the reason as well a reason for it is in hyper conjugation what happens is steric crowding in hyper conjugation is the reason gation 
this is the reason and now what do we have next you will see uh, more reactions on this in the upcoming chapters like phenol or uh, amines chapter alcohol chapters or, or amines chapters or uh, ketone ketonic chapters using uh, aromatic uh, using aromatic uh, compounds in those chapters you are seeing more reactions uh, in those particular chapters so this is just uh, an introduction or some of the reactions that you wouldn't see and uh, some might be repeated as well so just to give a give a hands on let us take some reactions um, we will be learning some other reactions like diazonium and sandmeyer's reaction in the upcoming chapters of alkyl halides or alcohols or aryl halides and ketones and many uh, many other chapters okay and we had spoke i think we had spoken about this uh, preparation of uh, yeah uh, this one yeah we had spoken already so now i'll be giving you some reactions uh, which you may not study in the future chapters that is some other reactions of benzene and the main uh, i think we'll be seeing some four three uh, three to four reactions and uh, by this we'll come to end of the chapter okay think okay let us study the hydrogenation of benzene using h2 it's a 180 atm and 200 degrees celsius and nickel this is hydrogenation which everyone would have come across in the hydrocarbon chapter so you would know uh, this so mm, this is a mechanism used for hydrogenation so this converts uh, benzene into cyclohexane okay now coming to next reaction okay let's say the same reagent but with this type of reagent is the same so what would happen this double bond will be hydrogenated so you get this here nickel is acting as a catalyst uh, this you would have studied in detail or you would study in the hydrocarbon chapter uh, very much in detail uh, why a nickel acts as a as a catalyst and uh, okay i'll give the reaction in which a catalyst is a negative catalyst this is nickel acts as a positive catalyst in this case so that's why all the even the ring is hydrogenated even in this case as well positive catalyst so even the ring is hydrogenated but if i give h2 palladium and carbon that's graphite basically you see that sorry not carbon i'm sorry s8 okay in presence of carbon only the outer outside the ring the conjugation is happening because the reagent used is not strong for hydrogenation strong uh, strong enough as compared to the nickel and these conditions so due to which only only the hydrogenation is happening outside the ring on the side chain okay now we'll study ozonolysis of uh, this thing benzene for mechanisms please go through the hydrocarbon chapter note or text uh, any of the references so you would find the mechanism over there let's say it would require three molecules three molecules of ozone and um, let's say and then for okay let's say this is a reductive ozonolysis we get this glyoxo and uh, okay in contrast to the halogenation 
mono halogenation that we studied let us study let us see these reactions cl2 in presence of light what happens to this is we get this due to free radical substitution sorry due to the free radical mechanism of substitution the h will be there only so we get c6 h6 cl6 okay and uh, we had seen the mono halogenation of benzene as well so let me take it again and show something that is that wasn't covered in the sense we get c6 h5 cl let's say we have cl2 in excess we get so what happens is we get cl everywhere all the h will be substituted by cl Why, why does this happen now let's say uh, okay and the same mechanism repeats again and again due to this as uh, one more cl one more cl will go and attack at the para position and with respect to that uh, at an ortho position and with respect to this at an ortho position so at all the position as it is present in excess and there's no steric hindrance in this case why the chlorine uh, the chlorine uh, the cloud of the chlorine is quite small and uh, it is uh, failing to provide any sort of uh, steric hindrance and due to which we get this type of compound so this is a c6 cl6 just have a note how let's see and uh, just see the difference uh, of the between the products that are being formed when you use cl2 h mu in excess and uh, cl2 f uh, iron in excess just the reagent that you're taking is making a lot of difference okay so just be careful in dealing with the questions like this okay now coming to gatman koch reaction koch sorry not gatman koch reaction gatman aldehyde synthesis sorry sorry gatman aldehyde synthesis This one will study again as well in uh, ketones and uh, aldehyde chapter synthesis. But still, I'm giving it beforehand. what happens let's see the mechanism we have hcn like this okay the h leaves of as it is being acidic so we get h plus and uh, cn minus okay and uh, let's say on the cn minus a we uh, i'm sorry there's a mistake hcl say we get we get h plus this h plus we attack on hcn and uh, uh, showing showing it properly this h plus will go and attack over here on n as this alone pair and due to which we get we get this kind of thing and uh, uh, resonating it we get nh and this acts as an l profile to this so major product will be the para product you know the reasons how the steric reasons always remember and there is no thermodynamic factor involved you see the para products to be more than uh, meta uh, ortho products when comparison to when you compare okay. and when you hydrolyze these on hydrolysis you get
and we are done plus some extra what is this ammonia and uh, the next reaction that we are going to learn is the ipso substitution mm, talking about ipso substitution i can tell it to be a, a reverse of what we have learnt in the cells we prepared a um, various products by replacing the h okay now what do, do we do just the reverse of it okay ipso substitution let's say there's a group just know the characteristic reaction h plus is there and uh, what happens is this h plus will go and we get g plus whenever this g is has tendency to remain stable for example you can see this type of reaction in this case Let's say I uh, let's say I said if in the acidic medium the H plus goes, and you know that this this carbocation that it will be formed is very stable, and uh, so due to which we get benzene. So uh, make a note that ipso attack or ipso substitution happens only when leaving group leads to a stable substituent so by this we are at the end of our chapter of aromatic compounds you will further study some of the reactions in upcoming chapter it is not possible to take those reactions now because uh, you need characteristic mechanisms for those reactions so just uh, go through these notes okay once i'll sh once we'll revise all the things so what are aromatic compounds mm, they have high degree of unsaturation okay okay just a uh, normal thing i mean just to enhance your knowledge well it is known as aromatic because they have aroma it is derived from aromatic is derived from the word aroma aroma is smell so uh, these type of uh, these aromatic compounds have very good smell good aroma just um, just for your knowledge okay and we had seen the structure and commercial preparation of benzene and uh, and seen how laboratory preparation take place and we went to the characteristic reactions that is electrophilic aromatic substitution this re and this mechanism is very important and this is the standard mechanism that is being followed for almost all the reactions and this will be the standard mechanism so just only uh, are uh, the changes are with the electrophiles okay almost all the times and we had seen the reaction coordinate as well and then transition state and then rate of reaction and then mono substitution okay then we came to the mono substitution halogenation and then we saw the various reactions and we saw some questions and the nitro uh, and coming to nitration uh, reagent uh, remember the nitration mixture reagent and we saw about the isotopic effects as well and sulfonation okay uh, just uh, for a note uh, uh, in what are the reactions we saw we saw isotopic effects only in the sulfonation and the adenation process and rest of the reactions we did not see the isotope effects we came to the friedel crafts reaction 
and all the spiritual crafts reactions we saw the reactivity order how our reaction proceeds mechanism the mechanism is very standard and i had given you some versions and uh, i discussed the solution as well over here and we talked about fatal craft isolation what is a cell group and a cell cation as well why it is very stable and uh, the re and the reagents used then mechanism also we had seen about uh, isolation in detail and uh, this is for your reference the in detail mechanism that i have discussed and then uh, we have seen the effects of substitution uh, substituents on the reactivity order and we saw this order and uh, this order is quite important and just no very strong reactivity because uh, it will be helpful in the di substituted rings and we saw the order of minus ifx and plus ifx and some questions steric steric crowding is one of the learnings that we have seen and then this extended conjugation is also a bit important so good concept to go through and then we had seen why anthracenes these positions are attacked rather than uh, these positions rather than these positions we see this being more favorable as well and uh, one nice question that we saw was uh, how to prepare this type of compound when this is totally highly uh, sorry highly uh, activated so we see, we don't see any possibility of forming mono mono bromine substitute uh, in the sense uh, bromine substituted only once so we saw an alternative way of producing it and we are successfully able to make and we saw some extra i gave you an extension of this thing and uh, a thermodynamic factor as judging this um, uh, uh, reaction of preparation of metazaline and we saw about the hydrogenation some miscellaneous reactions also ozonolysis uh, ozonolysis uh, mechanism would have you would have discussed or learnt in the hydrocarbon chapter or you would learn if it's coming in future and uh, we saw getman aldehyde synthesis as well an ipso substitution yeah we come to end end of the chapter and on a good note all the best all the best to all the viewers and keep sharing the content thank you